Hey guys, uh, Sam here, and uh, with the quarantine going on, I had to get out of the house, so me and my brother and my dad are going to be showing you this go-kart and kind of giving you some details and figuring out what we're going to do with it. As you can see, it's all homemade. The guy we bought it from did tell us that it's going to need completed, but as you can see, like right here, there's a little hole and there's some holes here, so that's going to have to be fixed. Um, and my dad and Mikey really liked the, uh, the, the way the tires look. So that's, you know, a big reason why we got it. But the issue with that is if you come around back, the, uh, there's no sprocket and we thought this was a live axle, but we were wrong. So we're going to measure it out and order one and we're going to order actually quite a few things. So as you guys can see, uh, there's no sprocket or anything, but um, what our plan is, is to take all of this off. So we're gonna cut it off here and here to just take this whole thing off, get a live axle kit, and then we're gonna do just one engine mount because this one right now has two. And if you take off the tire, if you look, you'd expect it to be full bar all the way over but actually this one actually has a bolt here to hold it on so we didn't really see that when we were getting it we just liked the look and we just thought hey it's cheap it looks cool we're gonna get it so the first thing we're gonna start with is the back end and you know cut things and figure out where we want the back axle. so we're thinking to after we cut it off to mount it on the bottom of the frame because um, right now there's like a two and a half inch um, spacing here so we're thinking if we put it under here it'll give it kind of that uh, hot rod angle and, uh, and I didn't mention what we're planning on doing we're, we want to uh, make this a, um, a, a C cab and uh, I'll put up a picture so you guys can see what that looks like so our goal is to get this done uh, before the Father's Day car show so we could bring it up there again. And as you guys know, I brought Bouncing Betty there uh, and won an award. But what you guys didn't see, and hopefully I could find the clip, is uh, when, I was, when I parked the car, I turned off the gas so I wouldn't flood the carburetor because I had to drive it home. So when getting my, uh, my award, I was driving up there and I only had enough fuel in lines to make it up there and I got on the gas and it stalled and uh, it ended up killing the battery. We had to push start it. Alright, only we'll go ahead. That's awesome. Alright, so any car that would like to do a burnout, please feel free just a big mess and you know people were kind of like looking funny and uh, someone actually went wah 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 ran out of gas so then I, uh, when I got back to where I was parked Mikey told me that it's on so now we're gonna build something that I know won't you know run out of gas and I'll make sure it you know could rip because I want to want to prove them wrong so that's what this build is going to be it's going to be a, a redemption pretty much yeah a boy so guys um, those are the ideas and uh, I got a got a quick question I'm planning on doing a, a predator 420 or a Duramax 440 and I've never used any of them. If you guys have, just leave me a comment below. Tell me how they are. But um, I'm going to, sorry for just a short video. I'm going to go work on it. Now I'm bringing it in the back, work on it. Uh, just wanted to put something out because of this quarantine stuff. And um, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment. And I hope you enjoyed your cruise down Delashman Road.